This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 SRG 4500 Surface Roughness Tester. The SRG 4500 is an instrument designed to check surface finish with measured values displayed on a digital readout in various surface roughness parameters. Note, the SRG 4500 is an extremely sensitive instrument and should be treated with care to assure measurement accuracy and reliable performance. The technology used incorporates a skid type instrument in which a diamond stylus is automatically traversed across the specimen and a piezoelectric pickup records all vertical movement. Peaks and valleys are recorded and converted into a known value of a given parameter. Parameters differ in how they look at peaks and valleys. The most popular parameter is RA, which is commonly defined as the arithmetic average roughness. There are certain criteria that need to be met in order to operate the SRG 4500. You may look into the detailed specifications that are published either in our catalog, website, or operation manual for more specific information. As you can see, the SRG 4500 is a handheld, battery-powered instrument with graphic display and controls on top, and an extended stylus which will retract and extract upon taking surface roughness samples automatically. To begin, insert the stylus that is supplied in a separate container for optimum protection. Make certain to line up the plug and press easily into the socket. Make sure there are no foreign objects on the calibrated sample before testing. Power the unit on from the rear of the unit and also the red power button on the keypad. Leaving the rear power button on all the time will allow you to retain any calibration memory you establish or change. The main interface screen should be displayed. Each indicator on the screen has a purpose. We will go over in detail the meaning of each and how to make any changes if necessary. Let's begin with leveling. Position the tester on the supplied standard sample or your workpiece to be tested. Press the level button and the leveling indicator will appear on the display. Using the supplied height adjusters on each side of the unit, raise or lower these slides until the arrow falls on or close to zero in the center of the indicating level. Press the level button to return back to the test screen. The level key can also act as an enter key at times throughout the menu. The LM button will bring you to the menu functions and settings interface. Press the LM button once and you'll be brought to a quick setup screen. The up and down arrow buttons will take you through various parameter settings while the left-right arrows will allow you to toggle within a given setting. From the quick menu screen, we can change the filter, of which RC is default. We can change the measuring unit, inch or metric. We can change roughness parameter, which is usually determined by your requirement. If no parameter is called out on a drawing, it usually defaults to RA. Traverse length setting, which is the amount of consecutive cutoff lengths to be evaluated in a given test. Cutoff length, which is the sampling length of the test. The correct value is determined by approximate surface roughness. This can be referenced in a chart in the operation manual showing various ranges. And finally, range of test. Pressing the LM button once will bring you quickly back to the main test screen. Hold down the LM button for about three seconds. And this will bring you to a secondary menu screen. Scroll up and down the list using up and down arrows. Once on parameter, press the level key and you can select the roughness parameter of your choice. Once selection is made, press the LM button to return back to the menu.
From here, you can enter calibration, the date and time, measuring unit, inch or metric, and the language setting. Once you have all parameter settings complete, let's demonstrate how to perform taking a test. Place the unit to test the supplied calibrated reference sample. Check the stylus level to make certain you are in zero range. Once back to the main measurement screen, press the S button on left to start the test. The unit will indicate that it is measuring. The value will show on screen in the roughness parameter you have chosen. To view the results in profile, press the left arrow button. While on this screen, press the level button to zoom in. To review results in the ratio curve, press the down arrow button. To exit, press the LM button. To save data after taking a test, press the memory button. While save is highlighted, press the level button twice to save. To exit, press the LM button, taking you back to the main measuring screen. To view data in other parameters, press the R button and use arrows to scroll. Press the LM bu button to exit. Let's quickly review the calibration procedure. Take a test. And if the value doesn't fall within tolerance of the reference sample, calibration is needed for correction. Press the menu button for three seconds. Scroll to calibration and press the level button. Scroll using arrows to choose the closest value of test. In this case, it will be 20 micron. Use the left arrow or right arrow to scroll plus or minus the percentage value of reading you need to change. Press the LM button to exit. That completes the calibration procedure. The SRG4500 also has an optional fixturing stand. The unit attaches to the stand using two screws on the right side of the unit under the height adjusters. Fixture adapters for height gauges and magnetic bases are also available. Don't forget to keep the stylus well protected. The 5 micron diamond tip is extremely delicate. Always keep the work parts or reference samples being tested free of dust, oil, or other debris. To clean skin surface, use a damp cloth moistened with rubbing alcohol. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 SRG4500 Surface Roughness Tester.